What's up everybody? Matt Tursik, Seth Murphy here with another installment of Take a Tour Tuesday. Today we're really excited to show you guys our newest listing on Blue Heron Canal. Matt's got the stats for us and we're gonna go inside right after this. Yeah, we hope you brought your SPF because we are out in front of the water. This is on Blue Heron Canal. It's just under 5,800 square feet, five bed, five and a half bath, and we've just listed it for $3.995 million. Alrighty, so coming up to the front of the house from the beautiful backyard. Yeah, you got a three car garage over here, an oversized paver driveway. I'm sure, you know, if you're gonna have a party, you can fit a lot of people here. All right, so stepping into this entry, you're immediately greeted by these nice, tall, vaulted ceilings. Beautiful beam work here, updated light fixtures, and tons of uh, natural light like we talked about. This is a west-facing build, so you've got light pouring in from the backyard into this open space. Yeah, and the whole finished scheme through here is very light and bright. It's a very welcoming entryway, like you said. So the home was built in 2006, and it was built by a local well-respected builder, Chad Esslinger. A lot of rich woodwork was indicative of that era, so when my clients purchased just a few years back, they actually had it all painted out white to give it a much more light, bright feel throughout the house. They left a couple elements, such as the fireplace in the den and of course the front door, which can give you guys an idea of what this house used to look like. But besides all the uh, painting, they've updated this beautiful kitchen, which is adjacent to the great room. They've replaced all of the countertops, the backsplash. Yeah, in here you got dual sinks, dual dishwashers, Thermador appliance package, stainless steel, again, in here, a lot of natural light coming in, very light and bright throughout. All right, and now on the back patio, it's kind of an entertainer's dream. You have almost a full kitchen broken up into three different parts back here. You got a barbecue right here, an Evo grill right here, and over there you have a sink and refrigerator for a little bar top, along with the outlook onto Blue Heron Canal. Okay, so besides the amazing view up here, you've gotta love all this natural light pouring in. For when the light goes down though, you have an awesome heater, and if the light happens to be a little too much, they've got these screens. Pretty trick. Okay, another room that adjoins that awesome patio space is the master suite, which is right through here. So walking in, you have this really cool little foyer area, awesome set of built-ins for extra additional closet space. Again, that French door out to the patio and this beautiful light-filled barrel tongue groove master suite. Yeah, now coming into the master bathroom, you got updated counters, updated tiles, you have a freestanding master bathtub, and then a wonderful steam shower, which is one of Matt's favorite features in any home. Okay, now to round off the rest of this first floor, you do have a nice vaulted den right here. You can see that original woodwork around the fireplace. As we go towards the stairs, we're gonna show you the dining room and the study pantry. Yeah, this is the study pantry, as Matt called it. Just in case you need to get work done, but you're also a little snacky. So before we go up or down, there's actually a couple of well thought out features of this floor plan. You have a nice size half bath right here that's tucked away away from like the kitchen and the great room. And then in here you have your laundry mudroom combo with a door to the outside. One of the things I think is really smart is you walk in, you can throw down all your stuff and at the same time close this off to the main laundry room, which by the way, it's not too shabby. Okay, so coming up to this landing, you're at an intersection of going to the two bedroom suites or the guest suite slash bonus area. We're gonna check out the bedroom suites first. All right, coming into the first suite up here, you have this entryway with these built-in drawers, a lot of storage, these nice semi-vaulted ceilings, quartz countertops, and a wonderful outlook onto the canal. And for the next bed here, you're facing the front courtyard with, uh, again, the dormant ceilings, nice big space here. You've got plenty of room for a queen, even a king bed potentially. And then the owners have finished off this attic space as an additional walk-in closet with a little daylight bed. All right, now coming up the other stairway, it feels almost like a second wing of the house. You have a full utility room, a full bathroom. Here's your bedroom, and then Matt's gonna lead us into the excess storage space. The gym, where probably I would never spend any time. <laughs> No, actually this is an awesome space. You can see they've got it set up currently with the gym because of the flooring. One of the things I think that would be cool is to set this up as like a multi-gen type of living situation. Because you have that full bath, the laundry, you could easily add a door there and have a little uh, landing that goes out and parking on the street. All you would need to add is like a little kitchenette and this is like a whole separate wing. All right, and now we're gonna go down to the basement. It's a daylight basement. 
with even more entertainment opportunities. Coming right down the stairs immediately off to your left, you have this wonderful wine storage area that is being very underused right now. If Matt moved in today, this would be full to the ceilings, all of that. If he's alluding to me drinking, well, you'd probably actually find me at the bar over here. This bar has an ice maker, it has a mini fridge, dishwasher, all of the amenities you need to really entertain. Over there, you've got a good sized bedroom, guest suite, if you will, with a beautiful closet and a full bath. This all opens up to the second covered patio, which we're gonna show you right now. Okay, so coming out to this awesome covered space, you're immediately greeted by a nice little furniture set, perfect for entertaining, lounging. If you want a hot tub, I don't think I've ever seen a bigger hot tub right here. You have a couple doors that go into the crawl space of this house that's built out as awesome storage for all your lake toys so you don't have to bring it up into the garage. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you are sitting on a half acre lot, which is really rare for Lake Oswego. They did a wonderful job of making this feel almost park-like with the landscaping that they did. Okay, so coming down to the lower level of the yard, it's actually pretty nice. You have this huge level lawn area with a nice flagstone patio that backs to the dock. It's uh, one of those timber tech or composite type materials for the dock, which is almost essential in Lake Oswego with how much sun you're getting in the water and uh, just the in and out. You do see the boat parked there. It's a 21 foot Mastercraft. All right, now let's go down to the boat house. You have cedar tongue and groove all the way through. You have a lot of extra storage for all your lake nickety knacks and then a wonderful place to park your boat. You need this for the off season. It's got a lift in it. You're all taken care of. Okay, so this house is ideally located for afternoon sunshine. It faces to the west, so you can get full sun in the backyard and house pretty much all day afternoon. It's also very close to Lake Oswego. The main lake's just probably two minutes away on boat. So whether you're paddle boarding, kayaking, it's very easy access. You just go under the bridge and you're out to the main lake. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining us on this Tuesday tour. Please take a moment and like the video. Uh, like people say on YouTube, it helps uh, us, our analytics, and all that good stuff. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, I think Seth's gonna take the boat out next. Oh yeah, for sure.